down, swirl around. What is up guys? I'm John the Potter. Welcome to another pottery video. So good to have you in the studio today. So I'm gonna make this super short, quick video to tell you my number one glazing hack. I actually don't know if it's the number one, but it's a pretty good hack. So we're gonna glaze these pots in winter wood, which is this glaze right here, which is right in here. What the hack is, is a way that you don't have to wax the bottom. So I don't, I hate using wax on the bottom, right? Like how do we keep so that the bottom doesn't have any glaze on it? And we wanna glaze the whole thing. So the way that I do it sometimes is I'll dip the whole pot in the thing with tongs, right? So I have my tongs. So I take my tongs and I dip it in like this and then I'll take a sponge and like wipe off the bottom, right? And that works, but for winter wood, Winter wood has these little crystals in it and that's what kind of makes these like brown spots on there. And if you can see on the inside, these crystals tend to, when you dip them in, they tend to like kind of pool in one area. And then when you pour it out, all the crystals stay on one side. So then it's like all this black stuff, which right away I didn't really mind it, but the more I do it, I kind of now think it's, just makes it look dirty and I just don't like it as much anymore. So I, we're gonna use this technique where instead of pouring it or dipping it, um, we're actually gonna dip from this way. And then as you go down, right, because of physics or chemistry or whatever it is, there's a bubble in there, right? So you dip down and then as you go up, if you pop the bubble really quick, like you go bloop, then you go back down and you swish it, swirl it around, then there's glaze that gets in there so that you can pop and then and then you come out. And if there is a little spot in there, sometimes there's like a little spot that doesn't get glazed in there, then you can just pour a little bit in. But if you're really good at it and you've done it a lot, then you can usually do it. It's actually a really cool um, technique. So, all right, I'm gonna show you, we'll do these four uh, and I'll show you how it's done. Let's do it. Ready, ready for the strategy? So just like I said, we're gonna go down then go up really quick and back down, swish it around, and then we'll look on the inside and see how we did. Ready? So we go down as far as we want. And there we go. All glazed. So I would have should have kept it down a little bit longer, but I'll do a second one just to prove to you that it wasn't a fluke. Number two. You can feel the resistance a little bit from the air bubble. Up, down, swirl around. Did it again. Boop. This does take, it does take a little bit of time to get used to this. I mean, I remember the first time I did this, I was like, this is stupid, I can't do it. Um, I'll show you like, so basically you're going down and then you go up quick. Bring the mug right up above the surface, then go down really quick and then swirl it around on the inside. So see, right, this is a perfect example. So right now, we, we missed just a little tiny spot. See that right there? So then I just have some ready, so we'll just pour it in and then pour it out, and then we got it all. Get it. Boom! Did we get it? We got it. All right, friends, that's it. There it is, that's my number one glazing hack until I come up with a better one. But it's pretty good, it's an easy way. No wax on the bottom, does take a little bit of time, so just try a couple, if it doesn't work, just keep trying it. And just, if you have an extra like little pitcher that's just full of glaze, then you can try it, and then if you look in there and it doesn't work, just pour a little glaze in there, pour it out, you're golden. So. All right, that's it for this video. As always, subscribe, like, comment, share, all the things, and we'll see you guys in the next.